Satellites can orbit the Earth at any radius as long as it is out of the Earth's atmosphere, which can provide significant drag. The speed required in an orbit depends on distance. The relationship is complex, and we'll explore it in a bit. But in general, the farther the satellite from the Earth, the slower it needs to travel to maintain a circular orbit. As we can see in the left graph, the acceleration of the spacecraft caused by the pull of gravity falls steeply with distance from the center of the Earth. The relationship is an inverse square one, which means that the acceleration falls with a square of the distance. If the distance is doubled, the acceleration falls by a factor of four. If the distance is tripled, the acceleration falls by a factor of nine. We can adjust the distance from the spacecraft to the center of the Earth with a slider. The top right graph shows the orbital period on the vertical axis. This is the amount of time it takes a spacecraft to orbit once. The horizontal axis is the radius of the orbit. As expected, it takes longer to orbit at greater distance. This is true for two reasons. First, the spacecraft is going slower when it is farther away. Second, the distance the spacecraft has to travel is greater when the orbit is larger. For an object in circular motion, the acceleration is speed squared divided by circular radius. The acceleration due to gravity is a product of the universal gravitational constant and the mass of the Earth divided by the square of the circular radius. The speed is a ratio of the circumference of the orbit to the period of orbit. This can be thought of as just distance traveled over time for one orbit. Combining all of these equations, we can solve for the radius required to get an orbit with some time period t. This equation is known as Newton's form of Kepler's third law. As you can see, the square of the period is proportional to the cube of the orbital radius, a relationship first discovered by Johannes Kepler. Arthur C. Clarke imagined a communication satellite that orbited the Earth with a period of exactly 24 hours. That period is special because it is the amount of time it takes the Earth to rotate once. If a satellite is orbiting with exactly this period, it will appear fixed in the sky from an observer on Earth. This is useful for communications. You can send signals to and from the satellite without having to point at it. It is always in the same spot. Satellite television works this way. As you can see, if we set the orbital radius to 6.6 .6 times the radius of the Earth, its orbital period will be 24 hours. This is known as a geosynchronous orbit. Can you see that the satellite is always above the same point on Earth? There are hundreds of satellites in geosynchronous orbit around the Earth right now. That region of space is getting pretty crowded these days.